friends. Welcome to part two of lesson 8.1. I'd like you to now get your math journal and turn to page 252. You will also need the ruler that you've been using. If it's ruler D, like we used in the warm up, keep that. If it's one from home, that's fine too. What we're going to do is we're going to use this ruler to measure the different line segments to the nearest quarter inch. So we're gonna start with one. Please do this along with me as I do it for you. So to measure a line segment, remember I line it up at zero. I'm not gonna line it up at this very end line because that's not zero. I'm gonna line it up with my arrow. You guys should too, my arrow says zero. And now I'm gonna look up this line. Okay, I notice a few things. I notice it goes past my whole number two, but it doesn't quite get to my whole number three. I notice it goes past my half mark in the two, and I notice it goes to this mark here. Well, let's think about what those marks are. Those, those second smallest marks are my quarter inch mark. So the way that I write this is I go to the last whole number, which was two, two and one fourth, two and two fourths, two and three fourths. So this line segment measures two and three fourths inches. So right below, I'm going to write in, and you should too, two and three fourths inches. Excellent. All right, let's try this for number two. Number two, we have another line segment. So I'm gonna line it up at zero, go ahead and do the same thing. And I'm measuring it again to the nearest quarter inch. What should I write down? Hmm. Well, it hits right at my whole number four. So I'm gonna write down four inches. Why is that okay when I'm talking about quarter inches? Well, remember when I count by quarter inches, I do get to whole numbers. So let's do that. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, eight fourths, nine fourths, 10 fourths, 11 fourths, 12 fourths, 13 fourths, 14 fourths, 15 fourths, 16 fourths. So again, just like when I count by halves, when I count by fourths, I do get two whole numbers as well. So another name for four inches is 16 fourths. But most people, if you wrote that down, I need 16 fourths long piece of wood, they would say, no idea what that means. We say four inches. Okay, let's try the last one. The last one, we line it up again. I look where it hits. Hmm. So I notice it goes past my two inch mark again, but doesn't get to three. I notice it's halfway between two and three. So that means it's going to be two and a half inches. Again, the reason I can write two and a half inches, even though I'm measuring to the nearest fourth, is because when I count by fourths, I do hit the one half mark. Two fourths and one half are the same fraction. They are equivalent fractions. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, eight fourths, nine fourths, ten fourths. So another name for two and a half is ten fourths. Okay. Here's what you guys are going to do today. Now that we have done page 252 together. Here's your work list. It's gonna be online, just like usual. But you're gonna do the next page, page 253 in your math journal. It's a review of fractions. Then there's something to print out on the website. It's about an ant. It's about two ants and their journey. Um, you have to measure what their path was, who had the longer and shorter path. Then there is going to be an assignment on Seesaw, like we practiced yesterday. I have put your math box, page 254, on Seesaw. So you're not going to do your math box in your journal. You're going to do it on Seesaw and send it back to me. And then you're going to do Homelink 8.1. Good luck. See you tomorrow.